Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I wanted to go over with you guys uh, some of the new devices that I have acquired um, from my ethical hacking and penetration testing and just my studies I'm doing on my own. Uh, I picked up a couple new ones that I wanted to share with you guys and I think that you guys should also look into too. Um, all my gadgets I have, I really do like these in particular. So let's break down each and every one of these. All right, so I have two sections here. These are the new devices I have, and here's the devices I have, and I haven't really gone into too much depth of them. Um, so I'm gonna start out with these ones first. This is a Raspberry Pi Zero W. Um, this one, I have a program to be a bad USB, and you can use this over Wi-Fi. So you plug this into a computer, you can send the payload through your phone after connecting to it via a web browser, and uh, you can send payloads um, wirelessly um, and you can edit them on the fly with this device this is pretty easy to set up I think I have a video on my channel about this um, all the stuff's on github um, and it's easy to flash the firmware onto this to do all those things um, I'm not gonna go into too much depth in that there's a video on my channel uh, about that uh, Wi-Fi pineapple so again when it comes to the Wi-Fi auditing and stuff like that and uh, being able to play around and learn Wi-Fi penetration testing skills and when it comes to the Wi-Fi penetration testing stuff, this is the one of the best tools just for the sole purpose of how easy it is to use and how user-friendly it is to use. Um, I highly recommend picking this up if you want to get into the field of ethical Wi-Fi hacking and just Wi-Fi understanding and realizing Wi-Fi vulnerabilities that are out there. This is a really great tool to have. Um, now I'm going to get into some of the new devices that we have on this channel. So this is Meshtastic. So these are... Um, Hell tech devices that use LoRa protocol to send text messages over a mini cell network that you create here. So once I power these guys up, it's basically having like a walkie talkie that I can connect my phone to and I can send text messages between one to three miles, uh, depending on the antenna and the uh, line of sight. This is probably one of the cheapest ones, like 20 bucks. These guys, I think about $40 a piece. Uh, these really work really well. These are good to have if you want to go hiking and you don't have cell service and you want to be able to text somebody or if you want to have communications off the grid completely, this is your guy. This is the way to go. I have I have videos on this on my channel as well. Go ahead and check these guys out. And uh, I'm going to go into my favorite new device I have in my collection. That's it. Just that standard Kingston drive. Now, if you know, if you know, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that this is a diabolic drive disguised as a Kingston drive. This is a very scary, deadly tool. I've just released a video. Actually, I, you be, by the time you see this video, it'll already be released, but how this thing is so dangerous. Uh, this thing, uh, you can pretty much, anybody that has a Kingston uh, flash drive or uh, any kind of case that's USB 3.0, uh, you can swap it out and put this diabolic drive in. So there it is right there. So that's a diabolic drive. So you can put it in any kind of case and it disguises itself as a regular USB. Um, even when you go into device manager, it'll say that it's a regular Kingston flash drive, um, but really it's not. It, can, it lies dormant until you're ready to go. You can send a payload over a Wi-Fi signal, kind of like this guy over here, but this one is just more modern and uh, get better range with it. It's just like the other one, you can edit the payloads on the go, depending on what you're doing. I also like this because it disguises itself as a regular flash drive, but it behaves like one. In my other video, I show you, I can clone somebody else's flash drive. So this was the original flash drive that was in it. I took this flash drive out and I replaced it with the diabolic drive and I cloned everything on here onto this guy right here. And uh, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Um, you plug, put the shell back on. Once the shell's on, get rid of that. And now they have no idea that this is a malicious piece of tech. I really like this device because it really shows that safety is an illusion and that how vulnerable we really are. Um, you got to be very careful with stuff like this. Please do not leave your stuff unattended because this stuff could happen to you. So I really wanted to show you guys some of the new stuff I have on this channel and some of the stuff I've really been playing around with. Um, the Mesh Tastic is awesome. I highly recommend looking into this kind of stuff for wireless communications, off-grid stuff, and ethical hacking purposes. Uh, just having private communications is something really of value nowadays. And this Diabolic Drive, this bad USB that's modernized and uh, has stealth tech built in inside and out. It's a really cool device. And I just love playing around with this thing and showing this to people and showing how vulnerable we are. Uh, like for again just the educational purposes it's a perfect tool that help emphasize how vulnerable we really are and that we need to be careful and our practices and uh 
It's just a really good tool to show. It's kind of like how a flipper zero is really good for ethical hacking because you can see firsthand vulnerabilities and test it and mess around with it. This also is a great way to show how safety is an illusion. And that's what this channel is all about. So, all right, guys, this is just pretty much a simple update of what I've been testing and learning in the background. Uh, I want to get more into enterprise stuff. I had a couple YouTube comments that were pushing me in that direction. I want to get into the real cybersecurity stuff that the stuff that you actually go to work and get good jobs for but i still like playing with these gadgets i'm going to keep promoting these gadgets on here um but i'm going to be trying to get into more stuff that could help educate everyone and myself on this channel so i still want to get into digital forensics as well um working on that uh but for now this is an update and i hope you guys have a good day remember safety is an illusion and i'll see you in the next video